Hello once again our most developed student. My name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek into my personal experiences. This is a channel designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. In this lesson on the double angle formula I'm going to just give you a uh, not really to prove these but just to appreciate these formulas so that whenever we are looking at some questions you will understand where are these coming from but remember in the previous lesson we did uh, prove you are you are asked in your exam you'll be given this one it's already assumed that from this starting point prove that one and that one and that one that's what i did in the previous lesson to say you are given this then you have to prove the other compound angles right they are very important also for your uh, trick but let's look at this now the first one that is simpler is this to say sine 2 alpha these are double angles sine 2 alpha is equal to 2 uh, sine alpha cos alpha this you just have to remind yourself but I'll show you how they can bring it in an exam in a hidden way the one that is sometimes tricky and elusive to students where the examiners like it a lot is this cos 2 alpha now look cos 2 alpha has got three parts the first one is this one cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha all right that's the first part now you also must be aware that you can further write this is a difference of two squares which is cos alpha minus sine alpha bracket and what cos alpha plus sine alpha remember they can bring it like that so you must remember this can become a difference of two squares it's hidden sometimes in a in a question but this is what you must always think of the next one is this one the one which is one minus two sine squared alpha again on this one you must always remember it's also a what a difference of two squares which is because this is like one actually this is not a difference of two squares sorry about that it's not a difference of two squares this one we whenever you're using this one ensure that you are dealing with sine you see it's one minus two two is the one that affects it doesn't make it a difference of two squares but don't forget one what is one one can be cos squared x plus sine squared x you still remember that that is one then minus two sine squared what x if you continue with it it will be cos squared x now sine squared minus this it becomes minus sine squared x guess what takes you back to that one are you with me and then the last one is is 2 cos squared alpha minus 1 and then on this one uh, it's also similar you can make this cos squared x plus sine squared x then it will lead you back to that one just always remember there are three forms of this uh, part and another one which is also important is the cos squared alpha plus the basic one sine squared alpha what is this one equal to remember it's called one also remember you need this is the one where there is a difference of two squares you can take sine for example to the other side and cos squared alpha is equal to 1 minus sine squared alpha you see then if you square here it's a difference of two squares 1 minus sine alpha and 1 plus sine alpha it's the same thing as not x is alpha it's the same thing when you take instead you write it and take cos to the other side you'll have uh, sine squared x let me use x because I'm just gravitating to that it's 1 minus cos squared x is a difference of two squares which is 1 minus cos x and 
1 plus cos x. So be careful of these trig identities. Just be careful of them. All right. So this is that appreciation. Now let us look at a simple question. Examples. It says prove the identity. We are given this. Say prove that this is equal to that 4 marks. Now let me write it um, here on the side. If I'm to prove, um, what am I proving here? I'm proving that sine for x cos 2x minus 2 cos 4x dot sine x dot cos x over uh, let me use better to use this one over what over 10 to x I'm going to take remember when you are proving you choose which side to take so I choose to take my left hand side so I'm going to take that one and you'll see what I'm going to write I'm going to write it like this when you're proving just be systematic with everything so I'm going to say here uh, uh, left hand side left and side is equal to that's where I'm starting from now look at what you're given you need to study it I've got sine for x now I don't see it okay then I've got cos 2x I also don't see it but look sine for x cos for x it must ring a bell so what you need then to consider here is they always give you things that are hidden but what is this look at this i'm looking at two let me write it down this two sine x cos x because i must i can rearrange and then i say cos for x i just rearranged but what is this two sine x cos x you see what it is let's go previous it is our what there it is sine 2 alpha is 2 sine alpha cos alpha it's your what it is your double angle formula that's your 2 sine alpha cos alpha it's hidden there it's hidden so what they did is they just put this one in between to confuse you but if you take it out you can see that you've got 2 sine alpha cos alpha so to then move on you can come back here and say this top can be written like this equal to sine for x cos 2x then minus see that then minus what do i have i have got cos for x sine 2x because we say that this is actually sine 2x the one that is in white so now look we have got sine for x cos 2x cos for x sine 2x then we are back again to what to these compound angles so you ask yourself which one is it where let me write it it, it was uh let's write it here it's sine for x cos 2x cos for x sine 2x so it's sine for x cos 2x and it's cos for x sine 2x and then the sign is um it's a negative right i'm just bringing it closer to it's a negative so which one makes it so if it's sine cos you can see that if it was cos alpha plus beta it was not gonna work because cos becomes cos cos sine sine but this one has got sine and cos which means it's the one between this but now if i've got a negative it means i must follow the one which is negative because positive is positive you see that so sine for x i can make that alpha uh, cos 2x i can make that beta are you with me so alpha beta so this can actually become sine for alpha minus 2 i mean 4x minus 2x 4x minus 2x 
Are you seeing that? Why? That's is you're matching, you're matching guys. Look at that. So now if I'm taking it here to say all over, remember this is all over what? Uh, maintain this. This is all over 10 to x. Almost done now. This is sine. You say it is sine for x minus 2x. You see? All over 10 to x. And then what do you have? This is equal to continuing. This is equal to 2, 4x minus 2x. This is same as sine 2x over 10 to x. Then you have to bring the basic trigonometry. Remember, what is 10 theta? Is what? Sine theta over cos theta. Remember, you need to know this one. Tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Tan theta is sin theta over cos theta. Please remember that one is common. Tan theta is that. So what you do here, you continue now. It's almost done. Then you're going to say this is equal to uh, sine theta, sine 2x in this case. Then this line, you're going to call it divided by 10 2x. Are you seeing that? Then you're going to say equal to sine 2x divided by what is 10? You say it is what? It's sine um, it, 10 to x now will be sine 2x over cos 2x. You maintain the 2 to x. All right. All right. But now you know how to convert this. When you change from uh, division to multiplication, what do you say? Which is sine 2x times, then you flip it, which will be this goes to the top, this goes to the bottom which is cos 2x over uh, sine 2x. Are you with me? Then at that stage, this is over 1. Then you can cancel that out, cancel that out. And then what is the answer? The answer is what? The answer is cos. This is cos 2x. Now, let's look at their answers. They said, what was the answer? They say cos squared x minus sine squared x. You see? Now, they are also tricking you because if you look at cos squared x minus sine squared x, cos squared alpha, there it is, cos squared alpha minus sine squared alpha is what? Is cos 2 alpha. So even here, they are trying to trick you because this is already the answer here. Then you can say which is equal to, here, to summarize, this is, a, is equal to cos squared, al, uh, cos squared x, actually minus sine squared x it's it's a identity the double angle for that so you see they're trying to make you see, confuse you in a bit just to check if you are aware of such so that was that next one given cos 35 is equal to m now pay attention to this one calculate without calculate uh, without using a calculator determine in terms of m sine 20 in terms of m so i given cos 35 so if I can write it and say here, cos 35 is equal to m, right? So now, how do I go about this one? Now, look at this. If I have to write sine 20 in terms of that, I have to, I have to be creative here to say, what if I do it like this and say, sine 20 is equal to cos what? If I say 90 minus, is it right? Okay, that won't work. That won't work. If I say 90 minus, no, that won't work. Um, but it's close, it's close, it's close, it's very close. What about if I say, because uh, I'm given 35, you see, 35, if I say 35 times 2, it will give me 70, you see. That's what is, I'm working on there. So if I say um, uh, sine, this is same as saying sine uh, um, 90 minus 70. Yes, 90 minus 70 is still sine what? Are you getting that? That's it. Actually, that's the way. If I say sine 20 is same as sine 90 minus 70. But you know why I put 90? Because the co-function of what? Cos 70. Remember? 
cos theta is equal to sine 90 minus theta. The reverse is correct. Uh, sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. So here, sine 90 minus 70 is equal to what? Uh, cos 70. But you know that sine 90 minus 70 is what? 90 minus 70 is this 20, which is that one? Now, what is cos 70? Cos 70 is equal to cos 2 times 35. You see that? That's where I was leading to. Alright. Then, if you are saying that is cos 2 times 35, then we are ready to go now. Look at this. This is same as saying now. Uh, we can now write like this now. If I'm working on it, I can say now. Sine 20 is equal to cos 2 bracket 35. Now I'm using what? Cos 2 theta. Remember the double angle cos 2 theta is equal to now. Pay attention. If I say cos 2 theta is equal to, there are three of them I have to choose. There is one minus, uh, there is actually, let me write three of them. There is the cos squared theta minus the sine squared theta. And then I've got the 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. I've got the 2 cos squared theta minus 1. I've got three of them. Right. So with these three, the question is, which one am I going to apply here? And why? Now, I'm already given cos 35. I'm given cos 35. And cos 35 is my limiter. This cos 35 is equal to m it's my limit i'm not given sine 35 i'm not given sine 35 so i must write everything in terms of what cos 35 now anything that has got sine will be off like here i've got sine and here i've got sine the only one that works is that one so that i can then say if i'm to use cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos squared theta minus 1 but you remember what is my theta? In this case, I've got what? Cos 2 bracket 35, which is my theta, is equal to 2 cos squared, what? 35 minus 1, which is equal to 2. Now, what is cos squared 35? Cos squared 35 is same as like this. Cos 35 bracket squared minus 1 which is 2 m squared minus 1 why cos 35 is m so whether it's cos 35 you put that m which is 2 m squared minus 1 then you have managed to uh, simplify that guys this is what they bring they like bringing such questions i just want to bring the next two rewrite actually this one i'll make a, a full lesson it's very interesting rewrite cos 3 theta in terms of cos theta and rewrite sine 3 theta in terms of sine theta. I'll do the first one, give you a hint on this one, and ask you to do that. For now, we've come to the end of our lesson. Join me in the next lesson. Thank you.